And next tonight, making babies in modern times. This week we told you about the explosion of young women recruited to donate their eggs to strangers. Well, tonight, men. And the consequence is something that started more than 50 years ago. There are now so many startled children learning they have the same father. ABC's Ron Claiborne investigates. He was the biological father of 533 children. What? Delivery Man is about a sperm donor who discovers he's fathered hundreds of children. Far-fetched? Well, do you know any young people who look like this man? He's Todd Whitehurst, who, as a young grad student, earned $12,000 donating sperm two or three times a week for more than three years. You do the math. One day, years later, he was contacted by a 14-year-old girl who told him that he was her father. Uh, my first reaction was just to be stunned. Since then, he's met three of his other donor offspring and has confirmed a dozen altogether. How do you know you don't have 50, 100 children, 150? I don't know. It's certainly possible. In fact, ABC News has learned of at least five individuals who have fathered over 100 children and one individual nearly 200 children. It's the Wild West. There's essentially no sheriff in town in this area, which has become quite large, quite lucrative, and is literally involved in the most intimate area of people's lives. Some countries limit the number of children a sperm donor can have. In the United Kingdom, the limit is 10. And children can find their biological dad and his health history. In England and in most of Europe, it, it's illegal to have anonymous sperm donation. In the U.S., where more than 2 million children have been born from donated sperm, a website, the Donor Sibling Registry, has been connecting them to their fathers and half-siblings for the last 13 years. Andrea, Kyle, nice to finally meet you. Come in. Adriana and Kyle found each other through that registry. And I don't know if it's any legal or social binding, but it's, I mean, half this it, that's cool. So far, more than 10,000 connections have been made. Todd Whitehurst eventually met his daughter, Virginia. We have a remarkable amount in common. It's surprising, really. It's as if we're related or something. <laughs> One more version of the modern American family. Ron Claiborne, ABC News, New York.